The sun is really awful. I'm gonna put my glasses on. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Grace. I'm an eighth generation farmer in Kentucky and today I actually have Gavin with me. Hello everybody. And today we are announcing a very special project that we are excited to work on together. Maybe now that you're in front of me, I can put my glasses on my head. If you've been here a while, you remember the time where Gavin and I road trip to Texas to get himself an R model Mac. Seems like forever ago. It was like a year and a half ago now. Gavin later told me that he bought that Mac so we could spend more time together. It was before we were technically dating it. It was an excuse to get to spend some more time with her. So what better way to get to learn about somebody than to take a random road trip to Texas to pick up a truck? So I think it's safe to say the R model Mac is the reason that we are together today. With that being said, we've actually teamed up with Mac to finish the restoration on a different R model Mac. We've got a whole family of them now. <laughs> They're everywhere. Before I show you the truck, we do have a sponsor for today's video. A returning sponsor today that I'm so excited to get to talk about again and that is Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that makes it super easy for you to try out a new designer fragrance for just $17 a month. If you remember from last time I have three scents that I've been trying out and just to give a little update I've started using the green one and it's not my favorite but I do really like it. This is the Sawala Asian Unicorn Sanctuary one and it has notes of juicy pineapple, leafy greens, peach skin, jasmine, and sugared musk. Next is the one in the red case and this is also the one that I had trouble pronouncing. I still can't pronounce it, don't make fun of me. This is the Veronica Goodbye Burt de Sur. I know, I said it wrong, I don't need to hear about it. This one has notes of clean water infused with herb, mint, and dark woods. I've been trying this one for a while now and I honestly don't really think that I like it that much, but that's what I love about Scentbird. It gives you the opportunity to try out these fragrances so you can purchase the ones you like and don't waste your money on the ones you don't. And last but not least, my absolute favorite that I have tried so far. This is the Boho Boco Vanilla Black Pepper. Uh, it's completely gone. I used every single bit of it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go and buy the full size because it's so good. <laughs> and this one has notes of nutmeg, black pepper, vanilla, cedarwood, and white musk. And they have over 600 different perfumes and colognes, so there is something perfect for everyone. If you're interested in trying Scentbird, use my code GRACE55 at Scentbird for 55% off of your first month. Available in the US and Canada. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video, and thank you so much to you guys watching for making opportunities like this possible for me. And without further ado, let's get back to the video. I definitely cut Gavin off in the last clip. Sorry, honey. <laughs> so thank you again to our sponsor, Scentbird, and without further ado, the, the truck. truck. So a little bit of information on this truck. It is a 1984 Mac R685ST. Yep, what's ST stand for? I forget what it means. Super truck? Super truck. <laughs> this is a Mac <laughs> That's R. That's not what that means. This is a Mac R685 super, super truck. truck. That's not actually what that means. Um, what's the R stand for? Really, really cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> this truck, we're actually going to finish restoring it and then we're going to donate it to the Mac Museum and it's gonna be in the museum, which I'm very excited about. Huge shout out to the museum. Doug Maney is the one who actually found this truck for us. It came from Florida. The truck driver that brought it here actually had a load to pick up in the town over. So it was pretty convenient for him to drop it off here. And we're gonna drive it to Missouri to work on it at Gavin's house in his shop. What ideas do you have for it? Let's hear yours first. Ladies first. If you insist. Even though it is this beautiful, freshly painted blue, I want to change it because I'm complicated. I don't feel like painting the frame, so we're going to leave the frame blue. Yes? Yes. We're going to leave the frame blue. 
I haven't decided what color I would like to see the cab. What color do you think the cab should be? I think the black and blue combo would be. I think that would good. be maybe very some, nice. Maybe with some metal, metal the shiny stuff. Ooh, the, black. the metal flake. Yeah. Yes. That is definitely a must. But Are you? Mi but then we missed out on this. Yeah, that's true. Would it look goofy to put that back on a straight pipe? I'm sure we can modify the, uh, the bands. So, okay, here's another thought. Do we want to do a rain cap or do we want to do a straight cut or even a miter cut? Mm. I'm game for a miter cut. Oh, I was kind of thinking a rain cap. I think it's cool when the rain cap's on it and you start it and it like is clapping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. So we're going to put a piece of diamond plate right here like that one has. And then we're going to fab up a step on each side. It'll be like a foot wide or so, foot and a half maybe. And then the handrail is going to go all the way across. And that's what's going to hold the hoses for the air. And then we're also going to put toolboxes from the step to here. I think we measured it to be like 36 inch toolboxes on each side. We're going to move this air in here so that we can put the toolbox on that side along with another step. What do you think of that? And Doug actually had a cool idea with the diamond plate. We'll paint match it to this and then sand it down where the diamonds are. Ah, oh, that'll and, be cool. Uh, so many possibilities. <laughs> I also think it would be cool to do some pinstriping. Pinstriping would be neat. What are some of your ideas? Old school hand painted letters on the side of the truck make it look like it's brand new off the factory floor just getting delivered what are you thinking uh, about the wheels grace and i've had this discussion i like the wheels and the wheels are cast metal and they say mac on them grace would like to see them become shiny aluminum ones i like this i think this is gorgeous take a look at this look you can see mac it's cast in there i think that's cool and they're already color matched well, if we leave the wheels, I still want to paint the white part black. With the same sparkly gold flake or whatever colored metal flake is in the black on the cap? Yes, I think. I'm not opposed to that. If we're going to color match them, I think we should color match, think we should color match them. What do you say we take a look at the inside? What's on the inside that counts. <laughs> Do you have any ideas for the interior? Um, underglow. Oh? Yep. Um, big, big speakers, loud speakers. Oh. Yep. I just go off up top. We're not going to ask his opinion anymore. <laughs> for the inside, I was thinking like, um, the upholstered interior that you bolt on. Uh-huh. I was thinking we could do that. And I think for the most part, keep it really simple inside. Hear me out. Hear me out. See the steering wheel? Yep. Paint match the steering wheel to the, the exterior with the, the, the little sparkly flex. Oh, the black or the blue? Whichever one you want. It doesn't matter. As long as it matches one of them. Mm -hmm. That'd look cool. All right. All right. Let us, let us know in the comments below if that would be a cool thing. Okay. Let's take a look under the hood. Is it pretty? That's pretty. I really like this blue color though. Mm -hmm. That does look good. It's like a, it's more turquoise than this blue. I don't know if you can tell the difference. So the truck is mechanically sound, but there are a few things that we need to do to it. Put the fifth wheel. Maybe if I hold it up here. Yeah, hey guys. We can get you in it. We need to install a fifth wheel. We need to plumb the air system for trailer hookup. You don't want to chop off the Yes, so we're going to chop off the frame. Uh, we need to fix the windshield wiper. What are those freaking called? The linkage. We need to fix <laughs> the windshield wiper linkage. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we need to adjust the door handles, especially on the driver door because that one's all loose. We also need to replace the seats. I think that's all that like needs to be done to it. What? I think that's all that needs to be done to it other than what we want to do cosmetically. But I mean, this truck is like 95% done. We're just adding the finishing touches. Let's take it for a spin. Let's take it for a spin. I want to drive it first. Ladies first. Oh, hey, my hoodie. Oh, hey. You like it? Nice. It's so much cleaner than yours. <laughs> oh, it might be dead. I don't hear no buzzing. What'd you do? Um. Is there a battery disconnect? Oh, never mind. Actually, I think there is down here. Wow, look at that. Do you know how to drive a stick shift? Nope. Okay, well, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is never use the clutch after it's in gear. No double clutching? How do you know what double clutching is? Farmer Grace taught me. <laughs> how the flippin' heck do I move the seat up? I really need to move it up in order to drive it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about this? We'll get some books or oh. some coats. I'm going to slide back in the seat. Okay, this is also, I believe, a five-speed. Do you know the gear pattern in these? Oh, uh, yeah, let me look real quick. Nope. Good thing it's on there. <laughs> I love it. I think that maybe I need something to put behind my back. Whoa, brakes are good. What do you mean you don't need the jug? I mean, I'm a normal sized human who doesn't need a jug for a backrest. <laughs> cool. I will try floating it first. Good idea.
that's all for today's video let us know some of your ideas for the truck let, let us, us know, know your thoughts the comments in the below. comments below that's where you'll let us know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching be sure to check out all my other social media accounts link down below and check out our new show called dirt poor on acres tv i will link that in the description as well and i think that's it we will don't forget to click the link in my description to get 55 percent off of your first month of scentbird and thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. See you guys later. Bye.